वेलकम टू बायो ग्लोब इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग विरुलेंस ऑफ पैथोजन माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जजील असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रो बयालजी मर्कस आर्ट्स एंड सैंस कॉलेज आदवनाड पैथोजेनिसिटी एंड विरुलेंस द कैपेसिटी ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू प्रोड्यूस डिसीज और टिश्यू इंजरी इज नॉन एज पैथोजेनिसिटी और विरुलेंस अब माइक्रो ऑर्गानिसम्स ने डिसीज प्रोड्यूस कैपासीटी नाथोजेनिटी अलग विरुलेंस पैथोजेनिटी ईस द एबिलिटी ऑफ द पैथोजन टू इंफ्लिक डामेज ऑन द होस्ट हव एवर विरुलेंस ईस द डिग्री ऑफ पैथोजेनिटी प्रोड्यूस बै द पैथोजन पैथोजेनिटी पर एबिलिटी ऑफ द पैथोजन to inflict damage of the host host cells il damage varthanulla pathogen de ability e nammal pathogenicity ennu virulence nu parnal degree of pathogenicity produced by the pathogen pathogen etra maatram pathogenicity produce cheyunnundo adinte alavu neyana nammal virulence nu parayunnu it is the quantitative measure of pathogenicity as pathogenicity varies markedly from pathogen to pathogen virulence is the term used for disease producing ability of individual pathogens the term pathogenicity is used for the ability of microbial species to produce disease for example mycobacterium tuberculosis is pathogenic ability of microbial species to produce disease and the term virulence is used for the ability of microbial strains to produce disease example pathogenic species of mycobacterium tuberculosis contains strains of varying degrees of virulence including those which are avirulent what are the factors or predisposing to pathogenicity what are the virulence factors the first one is known as adhesion adhesion is the ability to adhere to host cell surface usually epithelial cells is an important virulence factor for extracellular pathogen <coughs> but adhesion or nayal ability to adhere to host cell surface epithelial cells are adhesion may bandapettu varunathu that is an important virulence factor for extracellular pathogen adhesion is a complex process involving specific components of microbial cells and receptor site on the host cell surface the structures on microbial cells that mediate adhesion are known as adhesins or ligands pa adhesion kaaranamaguna structures ne nammal adhesins allengi ligands ennu parayunu these are specific surface molecules that interact with host cell surface <coughs> this include pili or fimbriae in pileated or fimbriated organisms second one glycocalyx it is a loose network of polymer fibers that is macromolecules <coughs> polysaccharides synthesized and secreted by bacteria extending outward from a cell <coughs> sex pili or fimbriae adu pole thana lectin or other cell components loss of adhesins makes the strain avirulent ab adhesins nashtapadu nu parneyale aa cell avirulent aayittu marava glycocalyx fimbriae edakkeyana adhesins in example aayittu varunathu then invasiveness invasiveness is the capacity of microorganisms to invade and multiply in healthy tissue is known as invasiveness the capacity of non toxigenic organisms to produce disease depends upon the quality of invasiveness അപ്പോൾ നോൺ ടോക്സിജനിക് ഓർഗാനിസംസിൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ ഇൻവാസ്യൂ ഇൻവാസ്യൂനെസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ദ കപ്പാസിറ്റി ഓഫ് നോൺ ടോക്സിജനിക് ഓർഗാനിസം ടു പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഡിസീസ് അപ്പോൾ ഡിസീസ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യാറുള്ള നോൺ ടോക്സിജനിക് ഓർഗാനിസത്തിൻ്റെ കപ്പാസിറ്റി ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇത് ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഇൻവാസ്യൂനെസ് ദർ ആർ ടു കാറ്റഗറീസ് ഓഫ് ബാക്ടീരിയ വിച്ച് ആർ ഇൻവാസ്യൂ സം ഓർഗാനിസംസ് ലൈക്ക് ഗ്രാം പോസിറ്റീവ് കോക്കൈ ഇനീഷ്യലി അട്രാക്ട് ദ ഫാഗോസൈറ്റിക് സെൽസ് by chemotactic mechanism but resist phagocytosis and spread into other tissues example pneumococci with the help of capsular polysaccharide resist phagocytosis a major defense mechanism used by the host 
to prevent invasion and invert lung tissue causing extensive damage leading to pneumonia appo chela organisms gram positive cocci endu inde initially attract the phagocytic cells by chemotactic mechanism by but resist the phagocytosis that spread into other tissues example aitu varunade pneumococci capsular polysaccharide ubhayichirund endu inde phagocytosisine resist cheyunnundu endu manasilakka some organisms like mycobacterium tuberculosis salmonella species and brucella species are engulfed by phagocytic cells but resistant to phagocytic killing and spread with the help of phagocytic mobility to various parts of the body appo chala organisms aitla mycobacterium tuberculosis salmonella brucella and the and engulfed by phagocytic cells but resistant to phagocytic killing and spread with the help of phagocytic mobility to other parts of the body then third one toxicity toxicity is the ability of an organism to cause disease by producing toxin that inhibit host cell function or kills host cell toxicity in ornay it is the ability of an organism to cause disease by producing toxin that inhibit host cell function or kill host cell bacteria produce mainly two types of toxins endotoxins and exotoxins the lipopolysaccharide in the outer layer of cell wall of gram negative bacteria can cause hypotension shock fever disseminated intravascular coagulation and death because of this toxicity and as they are incorporated within the cell wall they are called endotoxins exotoxins by contrast are not the structural components of the cell and are released from bacteria into surrounding media <coughs> then what are the characteristics of endotoxins and exotoxins endotoxin and exotoxin thamile pradhana petta vyathyasangal endakkana endotoxin integral part of the outer layer of cell wall cell wall inde puram bhagathu kaanapadunna or integral part aanu endotoxin exotoxin are not structural component and are released into the surrounding medium endotoxin is chemical nature exotoxin is protein nature endotoxin is heat stable and exotoxin is heat labile endotoxin is toxic but less potent and exotoxin is highly potent then endotoxin is less specific in their activities and exotoxin is more specific in their effect example toxins of vibrio cholerase endotoxic and clostridium tetani toxin is neurotoxic then <clears throat> endotoxins can be toxoidal then treatment with formalin or heat convert it into inactive form known as toxoid which is non toxic but antigenic and forms antitoxin which specifically reacts with toxins and neutralizes it then endotoxin is weakly antigenic and exotoxin is highly antigenic the fourth one is capsule capsule is another important virulence factor of organism the virulence of organism is influenced by non toxic polysaccharide material that is known as capsule is an extracellular outer material capsule serve as a physico chemical barrier and prevent phagocytosis and helps to spread in the body the capsule or physico chemical barrier act cheyunnundu phagocytosis ne prevent cheyunnundu adu pole thane disease spread cheyana sahayikunnundu it also act as a barrier against the action of antibodies and increases the invasive property it may also help to resist the action of lysosomal enzymes what are the other virulence factors a number of pathogens produce extracellular proteins that help in the establishment and maintenance of diseases most of them are enzymes these include first one coagulase coagulase is an enzyme produced by staphylococcus bacteria form a uh, fibrin barrier around the bacteria that helps to prevent the attach by ഹോസ്റ്റ് സെൽ അപ്പോൾ കൊയാഗുലേസ് സ്റ്റെഫലോക്കസ് ഓറിയസുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട എൻസൈമാണ് അതെന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇറ്റ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ ഫൈബ്രിൻ ബാരിയർ എറൗണ്ട് ദ ബാക്ടീരിയ ദെൻ ഫൈബ്രിനോളൈസിൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ആൻ എൻസൈം ദാറ്റ് പ്രൊമോട്ട് ദ സ്പ്രെഡ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ബൈ ബ്രേക്ക് ഡൗൺ ദ ഫൈബ്രിൻ ബാരിയർ ഇൻ ടിഷ്യൂസ് ദെൻ ഫൈബ്രിൻ ക്ലോത്ത്സ് ആർ ഓഫൺ ഫോംഡ് അറ്റ് ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ 
to limit the infection to a small region of the body. The next enzyme is hyaluronidase. It is an enzyme produced by streptococcus bacteria that break down hyaluronic acid that is a polysaccharide present in the connective tissue functioning as intracellular cementing substance. It promotes the spreading of organisms in tissues. The next compound is known as leukocytic. Leukocyte is produced by some bacteria that cause damage to polymorphonuclear cells. The next one is IgA protease. IgA protease is produced by gonococci and anaerobic bacteria. It acts on IgA antibody which plays an important role in local immunity. The next enzyme is collagenase produced by Clostridium welshi breaks down the collagen network supporting the connective tissue and contributes in spreading of infection. Then bacterial surface antigens such as VA antigen of Salmonella typhi and K antigen of Escherichia coli help to resist the phagocytosis and lytic action of complement system. Then what are the other enzymes such as protease, nuclease and lipases that serve to depolymerize host proteins, nucleic acids and lipids and enzymes such as catalase peroxidase, superoxide dismutase, heparinase produced by various organisms contribute to pathogenicity. Then next infecting dose. To produce successful infection, entry of an adequate number of bacteria is the important requirement. Our successful infection adequate number of bacteria and reanum. The dosage may be estimated as minimum infecting dose. The minimum infecting dose is the minimum number of bacteria required to produce clinical infection in a susceptible animal under standard condition. That is known as minimum infecting dose. Then minimum lethal dose. The minimum number of bacteria required to produce death in animal under standard condition. The minimum lethal dose is the minimum number of bacteria required to produce death. But death in the minimum number of bacteria in the under standard condition is the minimum lethal dose. As animals exhibit considerable variation in susceptibility, these doses are more correctly estimated as LD50, ID50. ID50 is the dose required to infect. 50% of the animals tested under standard condition. Then LD50 is the dose required to kill 50% of the animal tested under standard condition. Then root of infections. Certain organisms are infective only when they enter though through optimal route. Example, organisms like Vibrio cholerae are effective only by oral route but unable to cause infection by other root. So, the organisms in infection by the root of the root. In the case of Vibrio cholera, we oral root. But unable to cause infection by other root. However, organisms like Staphylococci and Streptococci can initiate infection by any root. But Staphylococci and Streptococci are the root of the root. But the Vibrio cholera is the root Kyrieta with the infection with the oral root load error. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.